Hello, my name is Victor Doroff. I'm a product manager of Status Page. Incidents and outages are an inevitable part of building and running complex services. From bugs in production to network issues and even failures in your third-party dependencies, there are infinite reasons why your users can suffer downtime. One could try fixing the problem, hoping no one is noticing, but let's be real. Negative reviews, tweets, support tickets travel fast. That's why we believe it is crucial to communicate incidents early and openly. And if this is done well, it is an opportunity to turn an unfortunate situation into a positive customer service experience. I'd like to share with you an overview of Status Page as a product today, and specifically our integration with Jira Software. This is why so many teams today depend on Status Page. It is the easiest way to communicate with end users about the incidents that impact tools and services they rely on. Thousands of companies, including Dropbox, Twilio, Epic Games, Reddit, Coinbase, have chosen Status Page as a tool to build trust with their users in moments of downtime. Let me give you a quick overview. When everything is working correctly, your custom branded status page shows that all systems are operational, as well as your historic uptime. Your page indicates various components which make up your services, including third-party dependencies you may be relying on. When there is an issue, one of the responders, usually DevOps engineer or customer support agent, would post information about it by creating an incident. So let's do this right now. We'll choose some name, which describes your incident, which face this incident is at right now, and some additional information you users may be interested in. We will also indicate which parts of your services are affected. Let's say it's API and this. And we'll create an incident. So now your status page will show that there is a certain issue which other people can learn more about and follow. Of course, many of your users won't check status page that same moment. Instead, end users may opt in to receive notifications by email, SMS, or Slack. You can also embed status widgets into your websites. For example, support web form, so your users are notified exactly where they are most likely to look. Being proactive in communicating downtime builds trust with users, and it also significantly reduces spikes in support tickets during an outage. Incidents happen with any company and service. It is how they respond and communicate the issue that makes all the difference. Many of our customers are choosing Jira to track their incidents. Typically, a new ticket is open for the responding team, which at any time indicates current stage of the incident, involved responders, and technical details for the team. Every incident is already stressful for a responding team, so jumping between the tools, for example, Jira, where incident context is captured, and status page to communicate with users, it may add some more unnecessary stress. That's why we have created a simple integration for status page in Jira, which allows incident responders to post and update incidents right where they are. Let me walk you through how to set it up and how to use it. We'll start in status page admin portal. And we'll head to apps. And you can see here Jira software app right among all other helpful integrations. We'll go ahead and connect our status page instance with the right Jira project. You would normally use the project where your team, your engineering team is tracking incidents. And also it may be a good idea to define some access restrictions for this one because you just don't want any employee in the company to post to the public status page. So I'll go ahead and select this ops projects right here and it is now connected. Now let's head back to Jira. 
you can see there is an ongoing incident and team is tracking it with this ticket. Now that we have enabled status page and integration, on the right, we'll have an option to publish a new incident. Because I have multiple public, public, public and internal pages, I have an option to select where exactly I'd like to post it. I'll select the, my public page for now. Similarly to what we've seen moments ago in status page admin portal, I will create an incident right here. Let's pick some descriptive name. Let's similarly indicate which phase of the incidents we're observing right now and what is going on. What are the additional details for our users? Also, we'll indicate which parts of the services are affected. And we'll post this incident. Now, anyone joining this ticket, some other team members who are helping the responding team, will also see this information right in JIRA and they will know that information has already been shared with users via status page. Next time there is progress on the incident, it is equally simple to update published incidents right here. Let's say we have applied all the fixes and monitoring in this in production environment. I'll just go ahead and update status right from here. I'll indicate that we're now monitoring the applied fixes. and update incident right from Jira. It is also very simple to jump to status page from here to see all the detailed updates, the entire timeline of the incident. So we can jump to status page and see it right here. Also, for anyone who logs in to status page first, and when they see there is an open incident, there is also now a link to the corresponding JIRA ticket where all the work is being tracked. So you can also jump the other way around from status page to JIRA and see all the details shared on the ticket. Status page helps to be open with your users about incidents and build trust. Our integration with JIRA lets responders do their work more seamlessly without jumping between multiple apps. If you're already a status page user, give this integration a try. Look for Jira app in your admin portal. Hi everyone. My name is Nancy and I am a product manager on status page. In addition to what Victor just talked about, I would like to introduce a very exciting new feature, which is called role-based access control. As a customer, I might have multiple team members administrating my status page. For example, one of my team members could be the incident manager on call. And as the owner of the status page, I only really want them to edit, update, and maintain the incidents. Other things like page settings, APIs, maintenances would be outside of this incident manager's roles and responsibilities. So I simply go to my user management page, which I have on right here, and I go and go to request to invite. You'll notice here that I can set permissions right away, whether that's for the page itself or for specific roles within that page. You'll notice here that we also have created three separate roles. The incident manager role is to allow your user to post update and incidents and templates. Your maintenance manager role allows them to post update and edit maintenances. And our last role is the page configuration role, which is to add and edit components, subscribers, set up integration and metric providers, and customize pages and emails, as well as edit page settings. So let me show you what permissions Nancy has access to. So under Nancy's permissions, we can see that on the internal page, she can only manage incidents. 
But on the external page, she has permissions to manage maintenances and also configure the page. So let's take a look at what that would look like from her point of view. Now I am on Nancy's home page and on the internal status page itself. So you'll notice on the internal status page, she only has the ability to edit and add incidents. So she can go ahead and update this, say that she wants to update this particular incident. Um, maybe it's monitoring and she wants to update that particular component as well. So that's done successfully and she can go back and you can see that she has no access to maintenances. So that part is grayed out. And on the left, the page configuration settings are grayed out as well. This prevents the user from integrating apps that are not authorized or even changing the look and feel of the status page that might be unwanted in this case. So let's go to her settings on her other page that she has access to, which is the external status page. You can see here that she only has access to maintenances. So she can go ahead and update her maintenance and she can set a schedule and automate it. So maybe she wants to change the status and maybe she wants to apply a template. So those things can all be done. But as you can see, she also has in this particular role, access to the page itself. And what I mean by that is she's able to customize pages and emails um, and update info about the page itself. So this type of granularity helps organizations because it allows you to restrict certain functions to specific users to reduce any type of unwanted change. And it helps reduce unauthorized information going out to your end users. This also completes a lot of customers' requests on compliance regulations at their organizations. So if you have status page today, feel free to give role-based access control a try at your organization and let us know any feedback that you have. Thanks and enjoy Team 22.